Hey guys, welcome back to the Sacred Life channel with Maria. Happy Sunday. I hope all of you had a wonderful week and that something really amazing happened to each and every one of you. Today is Sunday, so I'm going to be doing my Sunday reading using my Rebel Oracle cards. Let's get started. This card is all about feminine energy and getting in touch with your gentle soul. We may be at a crossroads where we want more things but don't necessarily have more resources or energy or tools at our disposal. So in this instance, it would be really useful for us to get in tune with our feminine energy. That way, our gentle side can help us become a magnet and attract what we want rather than chasing. There's a lot of cultural ignorance about the emotional or sensitive side of a woman. And we have strayed away from the true power that comes from allowing that gentleness to flow into your life. We have been wrongly taught that the harder you work, the more you're going to achieve. And don't get me wrong, sure, maybe that's the case. However, you're not going to be able to sustain that for a very long period of time because you're going to exhaust yourself and ultimately hurt yourself in the process. I really want to encourage you guys to get in tune with those gentle emotions that are within yourself. This oracle comes with a message that it's time to play, let loose, and have some fun. This sacred fool is all about love and... The sacred fool is all about love and having fun and going with the wind and motion of life. This card is encouraging us to get in tune with our playful side. It's also encouraging us to forget the way that we should be or trying to conform to something that's conventional, that we are really not. This card is all about honoring your heart and truly allowing yourself to be whoever you feel like being on a daily basis and not caring what other people are going to say about you because as long as you have your own respect and love from yourself, that is how you're going to continue to stay aligned and on the path to manifestation rather than pleasing other people. This message is asking us to really hear and listen for a deeper meaning and truth in life beyond what we hear on a daily basis. And I've said this before, but the universe finds creative ways to communicate with you. And there's a message that wants to be heard by you. That message is ready for to be received at any time. However, you have to align yourself with the silence so that the message can be received. You can calm yourself through meditation. Uh, you can also receive messages through dreams. And... A lot of times you can receive messages through some of the closest people to you as well as your intuition. Your intuition has a lot to say. Trust that instinct. Don't dismiss it as nothing. When you're feeling off, there is something that you should be aware of or paying attention to your surroundings. Here we are being asked to bring it into form, which means bringing our vision to life. It is now time, we now have the door and the opportunity has been opened for our dreams and desires into the physical manifested world. We do this by staying in tune with ourselves on a daily basis, being a good Samaritan on earth, spreading love, spreading light, staying away from judgments. By continuing to do these things, you're only going to attract positive because everything you speak out into the world comes back onto you. And so be extra careful this next week with what you say because something really big wants to be manifested in your life and it feels like a very positive change. And so allow it to happen, listen for the truth, and surely enough you're going to then form it into the physical world. This card is asking you to be brave. It's asking you to create your most boldest vision and to dream and go for it. This is a sign that you are ready for something bigger in your life, so don't hold back. You have the full support of your spirit guides. 
the earth is shifting and it needs to have your positive energy. You never know how you're gonna touch somebody's life until you try, guys. This is everything I have for you guys today. I hope that this is gonna help you manifest that big prosperous change into your life. And I hope that it's gonna help you calm down a little bit so that you can receive these divine messages for yourself and your guides. Thank you for listening till the end with me, guys. I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Take care.